What's going on everyone? So it is day six of the daily UI design challenge and the task for today was to create a user profile. So I decided to do a little tweak a redesign with the Instagram style for a profile and uh, pretty self-explanatory, nothing too fancy, but the thoughts behind this process was more on the aspect of removing followers and just simply being a platform to showcase your content. So I'm sure if you have seen that there have been uh, articles on the news about Instagram moving likes in certain locations. And I could see in the future potentially that um, they could get away with followers if not. But here would be something that kind of would, I would say, my take on what would it look like if they just remove followers in general. And again, I didn't include every single detail that Instagram has, like the settings up here, or like the back part. I would, I would, this, is, this is more of like a super minimalist design just for the sake of the um, the daily challenge. But obviously adding the extra things would be more of a UX thing. So I did have to do more research and, you know, get actual data to consider adding certain things. But ideally, this is just a little more for the UI side. So just the um, aesthetic part. And uh, just checking in, it's pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Um, so here the thought behind this is essentially having the person's thing right here. So the profile picture being the biggest part that you would notice versus it being smaller in the corner like on Instagram. And then representing have the text centered here. And then you can see clearly there's no followers, no following, any of that. And also in this, the section above the pictures, there's none of the like grid style or the um, like tagged photos. So that my reason for that is if they remove the followers and let's say hypothetically this was like a design, they take away following follower numbers, then ideally the um, like tag photos could be another thing to where it's not really relevant if people want to see tag photos of people. So if you have Instagram, you would see what I'm talking about. But that again, that's just me like making the design for the minimalist side. It's not, it's more of a UX thing. So I'm sure the um, designers that Instagram clearly know why they put that there. But for this sake, I just try to leave that out here for now. And then simply just have the follow and the message button here. And then just the typical logos they have currently on Instagram right there. So pretty much this design was pretty simple to make. Is just a uh, profile pic, uh, profile pic, and that's like the story, like highlight type thing they have whenever someone posts a story. And then these are literally just um, just pictures, separate pictures here. And overall, this is pretty basic, nothing too crazy. And um, I'd say this one is like a lot easier to do because I already have a design prior, but it's more of the thought behind. Uh, redesigning it. That's the part that usually is more difficult because if you do go to uh, like inspirational designs, they'll have some crazy looking things. But overall, I think if you were to think of it from like say a uh, company's perspective, in order to redesign Instagram drastically, it'd probably be a pain for the developers and it would just be, it would take a lot longer probably for them since they have such a big uh, company and just a little tweak could do so much damage to the uh, the app that they probably want to keep it kind of similar. But overall, I've seen some people, they make like crazy, crazy redesigns that it's like, it's basically like rebranding. So ideally, I think at their level, I don't know if that's the, that would make the most sense. But again, I'm, I'm not developing Instagram, so I wouldn't know. But that's my thought process here. Nothing too fancy. And I just want to show you guys my uh, design for uh, day six. So if this is your first time on my channel, I'm essentially documenting myself doing UX UI design. So if you do want to follow on that journey, then go down below and hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up, aka if you're on Instagram, double tap on my video. And then comment down below if you are uh, getting started in UX UI design or you've already an expert. Any critiques that you want to comment on or any ideas that you could say about the UX part and why certain things are on Instagram currently that I could probably um, add to, you know, another uh, design a remake for this there. But other than that, this completes the video for today. So hope to see you in the next one.